today we are going to look at adobe photoshop's brand new ai features now these are insane and if you do use photoshop i'll show you how to set everything up and get started playing around with this and if you have no idea or even don't use it definitely just sit back and relax and watch the magic that ai has become so here i have a picture of a travel person and i actually generated this Using mid-journey, just simply type in person traveling in Bali, and it came up with this image right here. Now, let's go ahead and utilize AI images and Adobe Photoshop's AI-powered abilities to mess around and see what's possible. Now, this might look familiar to Photoshop users, but this is actually a beta window. So if you have Photoshop already, you'll have to go to your Creative Cloud account and download the beta section and that will bring a new window where you can actually go ahead and play around with this and for everyone else that sit back and just relax and watch how ai has transformed so far so here this is the first thing we're going to do there is this logo over here and it's right below the eyedropper tool and basically you just hold it and then you can choose and i'm going to go ahead with this content aware tool and now what we can do here is select parts of the image and add ai to it now let me show you how crazy this stuff is so let me just draw right over here and i just want to draw right to the little lake area and have it like this and now we have this generated fill pop up so we can click here and now we can change this so what do i want to do with the water let's go ahead and put a a yacht and let's generate this and from testing this out so far, the speed that is able to generate the image based off of my prompt has been rather quick and not too long so far based off of my computer and system. Obviously, others might have a different experience, but as we can see here, we have our, what I thought was a yacht, but it looks like a canoe, kayak, a little miniature boat right here. And what's cool about this feature is that you have variations. So it's not just one. So let's just go through the variations. Here is image two, and here is image three. So let me go ahead and try this. Let's say a, let's put a super mega yacht, luxury rich. And let's see if this can change the image and add what obviously most of us picture as a yacht now I have found some constraints with the current AI ability but again this is still a beta option and here is our super <laughs> mega luxury yacht aka is not just a boat and so far it looks the thing I noticed is it's showcasing something as close as it could based off the prompt so even though it's not exactly what I wanted it's only fitting it within the parameters I put right here. So this might not be the best example for this, but if I were to change this, for example, to something that's much more easily created within this space that doesn't pass the borders up here, then we could probably see something that's better. So for example, something that's a smaller thing, let's just put an alligator generates this is most likely going to give a much more realistic and better visual of what this is capable of as of right now. Now, this is obviously not like a mid-journey AI where you can create some absurd, super crazy image, at least as of today. But as you can see, we have an alligator here, another one here, and this one <laughs> looks like it's about to attack the person, which is not good. So in terms of this, I mean, this one doesn't look as realistic as I wanted, but still, that is one of the features. Now, let me show you some cool, crazier things we can do with this. So for example, if I go ahead and select this little building thing right here, go like this, check this out. Generate a fill and put delicious hamburger. And let's generate this. Now, I tried this out earlier and it gave me an incredible result. So hopefully we can see that on the first try. If not, we'll have to retry it, but this is, if this ends up doing what I want it, look at this. Okay, so this is something I did not even expect. It seems to have formed a building like hamburger design based off of what I selected, which looks not, not bad, pretty cool. 
but then we have a completely irrelevant this was the irrelevant image and then we have another one so let's try this again so generate again and so far this was the closest when i tried this the first time i had a literal hamburger replace the entire little building statue thing and it was incredible so like just like this <laughs> so here is one of the features i was talking about so yeah burger number one this one's not the best i don't even know what that is so here it looks pretty good i like this one and as you can see this is just one of the uh features that photoshop has added into the ai so now let's go ahead and do this with another image let's go here to this room image let me bring this up to the top now what's cool too is additional they have this uh presets adjustment so here i can just hover over it so this isn't really technically ai advanced but it's just showcasing some cool things you could do easily and what's even cooler is if you click here you can click on the actual thing and adjust that based off you know your preference so it's kind of like quick and easy if you're gonna use stuff for instagram or facebook or social media then you can easily have that adjusted but let's go ahead and fix that now so here is another cool tool this is called the remove tool and as of right now if you were to click on the image it's gonna say this is basically it's unsupported so what you do is you right click on your image and you scroll down to rasterize layer and then if i change the size of this brush make it like a little bit like this and let me just click on this little lamp thingy right here with the table and if this works boom vanish magic just like that now if you were to try this normally you have to go here and select it and then mask it. it's just pain but now this this is actually pretty pretty crazy now depending on the size of the brush it could affect how accurate it is but again if you want to go zoom in and make it super perfect but like look at just from a quick glance it's not perfect you can see the carpet's a little bit messed up but that was pretty crazy and now let's go ahead and go back to my generative ai tool again i want to go this and i'll show you this this was what i did earlier is pretty insane results and let's just go ahead and highlight this here like this generative fill and let's put luxury sports car and generate and you're probably thinking what what do i even mean by sports car what is, what is about to happen well if it does what i want it to do then you're going to be quite shocked at how incredible this is and we'll have to try a couple times to see if it can do it but so far i'm quite impressed with this beta version this generative ai this is stuff that yeah literally exactly what i wanted <laughs> so now we replace the bed entirely with the car this one looks a little bit not as crazy and then we have one like here so maybe try one more time and as you can see this is the start of the ai technology being infused with current programs right now used by millions of people is going to change content creation forever so this one looks a little bit better little little car not sure what model brand that is never seen it before this one looks a little bit over the top this one looks maybe a little more realistic but as you can see that is how crazy this ai can do it so now let's try one more image which is the dog and the one thing i did show you but is you're probably wondering like how in the world is it making it so perfect and basically you can see here it adds a layer around you can see where i have exactly and it actually matches the background so that it fits so it doesn't look like it's different but as you can see it's basically it's uh, just enough on the edges to make it look like it's still there realistic which is pretty good so now let me go to this dog image here let's put it at the top and the last thing i have yet to do is actually change the subject so we can go here and click on select subject here and what look at that it instantly highlights the subject it knows exactly what it is generate fill and let's turn this dog into something completely different so what's an animal i could change it to an object let's go ahead and pick dinosaur and let's see if adobe's ai has any dinosaur images that it can generate and we'll see how crazy this is now this is just some highlights of the new features mainly focusing on the generative fill parts but i've seen some other ones where you could basically change the entire image <laughs> and look at this this stuff is crazy so take a look i don't know what that thing is and we have this stuff right here let's generate this again and so far this beta version of what's going to be coming out soon to just everyone this is going to revolutionize everything 
So what do you guys think right now? Let's do one more. Yeah, this will be the last generation and see. And so far, I mean, this stuff, the photos we're about to see, I think this last one probably looks, actually, I don't even know. This one may be a little bit better. But as you can see, this is the highlights showing Adobe Photoshop's new AI features. So do share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to see the latest updates in the AI space, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe.